Musa. Mga pala si Bart ng Bart Builds. At ito ang bagong skill cable saw. Model number TS6307. Ito ang bagong prosumer line ng skill. Na hinahandog para sa ating mga consumers, sa ating mga DIYers, at pwede na rin mga contractors. Kasi this is a very portable cable saw. Now, titignan natin kung maganda ba siya, kung pangit, ano maganda, ano pwede palitan, ano dapat tayo sa. So, stick around and stay tuned. So this is the skill TS6307. Nandito nakalagay yung uh, tools to remove the blades. And this is included a Allen wrench and Phillips combination. Nandito rin yung push stick niya. Madaling tanggalin, madaling ibalik. Ito naman yung miter gauge. Kung titignan nyo, nilagyan ko ng aluminum tape sa ilalim. Um, maluwag siya. So, talk about that later. Alright, so this is all of the basic tools that we need and it was included. You have the blade guard, the tools, the wrench, the stick, and the miter gauge. Hindi pa included yung uh, dust adapt adapter tape. And I'm trying to play with the fence auxiliary. So this is how you remove the blade and put it back. First you have to remove the insert. And then you have the blade. There is a lock here that you have to lift para matanggal mi blade and also to adjust the driving knife. So first put me unang wrench uh, left and then you just have to turn um, counterclockwise to remove the blade. Atanggalin mo lang yung locking nut and then the flange outer flange I mean. and then so isa sa mga unang modifications na ginawa ko dito sa table so uh, pinaflatten ko yung uh, inner flange na yan kasi initially may 30mm na uh, pagkaangat siya so pinap din ako sa machinist uh, na flatten niya precise naman so ngayon fully uh, accepted na niya yung 5.8 arbor na blade so by default sa US uh, ganun din yung uh, kanilang setup ewan ko ba dito sa Pilipinas ang hilig natin sa 30mm iba iba yung standards natin so mas maganda yung 5.8 para sa akin mas maraming ka papakita ko lang kung gano gagalawin yung driving knife Two less din siya. Kung titingin nyo, pwede iangat. Tatlong faces. Pinakatap. And the medium. And the weight button. Medyo delikato yan. So, full extend natin. Tapos, lock natin yung flap. And then, just uh, put back the throat plate. Make sure to lock it. And we can install the blade guard. So, two less din siya. Kung titignan nyo, may flap siya. Iangat nyo lang. Tapos, isa at suksok nyo yung parang pivot niya. And then, maglalock na yun. Konting practice na. Pero, ayos naman. So, may sarili din lalagay niya sa loob ng table saw. So, dito yung adjustment ng blade alignment. 
So, yung numb na yan, ito turn niya lang. May lock yan dyan. Uh, madali lang. Left and right, parang rudder ng boat. So, napagaling ng implementation nila dyan. Ito naman yung dust adapter, dust port adapter natin. Uh, I think lahat ng 2 inch or less pasok dyan. May sarili din dyan nalagyan. Galing, diba? So, pakita ko sa inyo paano i-collapse yung table saw at going portable. Make sure na lock yung fence at walang nakausli. Then, i-turn nyo dito sa side na to. Huwag dun sa kabilang side kasi nandun yung uh, rack and pinion lock. So, yan. Click nyo lang yung pindutin nyo lang yung button dyan to collapse sa legs. So, yan. Ewan ko ba dito sa pinaka last leg na ito, napakahirap ibalik. Baka sa akin lang. Pero, konting alog lang, konting pasensya. Mayangat. Ayan, may sariling handle din yan para buhati. Tingnan nyo dito. Ay, babalik ko nga pala itong ugly guard. Kung titignan nyo, dito lang din siya kinakabit. Sana pala kinabit ko ba ako. Kinolapse. Pero pwede rin ako. Balik. Yan. Yun. So, hawakan nyo sa handle. Hindi naman siya sobrang bigot. Siguro mga nasa 40 pounds lang siya or less. So, hindi naman siya sobrang bigat. Pakita ko naman kung paano iangat ulit. So, in reverse order, pipindutin nyo lang yung pulang button. Stretch na, make sure na mag-click. And, i-pivot nyo lang yung leg. Tapos, kapag na, ayan. Mabot na. Diba, ang dali. Pag-usapan lang natin mabilis yung miter gauge. Nung nakuha ko to, wala pa tong aluminum tape or sinagay ko to modify it. Maluwag siya kung wala. So, I suggest kung gagamitin nyo to miter gauge, lagyan nyo ng aluminum tape. Mas maganda kung lalagyan nyo pa ng fe uh, fence din yung miter gauge. Uh, ito yung ginawa kong my, uh, miter gauge fence gawa sa uh, Baltic Birch. Text screw lang ginamit ko dyan. So, ito yung isa ko pang ginawang modification. Nag-create ako ng zero clearance insert plate gamit ang 8mm na acrylic sheet. So, tanggalin ko lang yung OEM na throat plate unlock it and this is the zero clearance insert So, ito yung isa sa pangit sa saw na to. I think sa DeWalt, ganito din yung issue. Hindi fully square yung uh, fence. Kung titignan nyo, gagamit ako ng double square ko. Um, see right there, may cap. So, marami namang ways para ma-prevent yan. You can put shims adjust the fence by putting a shim between the screw um, or put an auxiliary fence uh, to have a more f um, more straight and uh, square in the fence 
Dito naman tayo sa blade. Out of the box, hindi siya full 90 degrees. Pero madali naman ma-adjust yan. As you can see right here, na-calibrate ko na rin siya. Madali lang naman. Focus naman tayo doon sa rack and pinion fence ng table saw na to. Yung design niya parehong pareho doon sa DeWalt's uh, and also I think Milwaukee. Ang kahibaan lang nito yung kanyang pinion gear gawa sa plastic but it's made out of the quality plastic. The same plastic that you can see all around this unit. And I don't think it's gonna be a problem but there has to be a place where they could cut corners. So I guess ito yun. Um, hindi naman ako ganong ka-bothered kung plastic man yung gear niya. Isa sa nag-convince sa akin para kunin itong unit na to yung 25.5 um, inches na capacity niya for ripping plywoods. Nagpas yun sa kalahati ng isang buong um, 5 feet, uh, sorry, 4 feet na uh, sheet ng plywood. Dun sa uh, the wall, sa Bosch, tsaka sa Lotus, I think it's about 23 to 24 inches lang. Dito up to 25.5 or 647 millimeters. So, malaki yung capacity. Try natin mag-grip ng uh, Baltic Birch Plywood. Medyo matigas to. Talon nagagamit pa ako ng 62 na blade. As you can see right here, I'm trying to adjust the fence using the rack, rack and pinion. Sobrang convenient talaga nitong feature na to. I hope all of the table saws under this same price point uh, should convert to the rack and pinion. It's a, a life changer. Lagyan ko na rin ng, uh, ng blade guard para makita nyo kung ano itsura niya habang nag uh, re -rip tayo. Matitignan ko na dyan ng din lahat. Lang so, hindi ka tatama rin talagang hindi gamitin yung mga protective features ng table saw. Around 10 decibels yung, uh, uh, sorry, 100 decibels yung ingay ng table saw na to. So, it's within the same range as the Lotus table saw. Pero pagdating sa pag-stop na talaga, I think there's a sort of an electronic break. So, mas safe siya, lalo na pag gumagamit ka ng table sa. Ang dali patayin ng table sa. Yung naririnig nyo sa background niya, yung dust collector ko na one horsepower so yun may konting burns ako dahil medyo madumi na rin yung plates pero tingnan mo naman kaya kaya tingnan na rin yung uh, dust na nabuo doon sa pag grip natin ng plywood na to kung titingnan yung halos wala di ba? gawa yan nung magandang dust collection system na rin itong uh, table saw na to. Nung nasa lotus pa ako, Diyos ko, mayat maya, nagbabrush ako, nagbablower ako. Pero tingnan naman naman, di ba? Dahil malaki yung outlet niya, uh, perfect na perfect siya sa dust collector ko. So, ano tingin ko sa bagong table saw na to, no? Um, Nagustuhan ko talaga siya dahil una-una yung, yung build quality niya, yung solid uh, aluminum cast table. 
Uh, Doon sa Lotus ko kasi dati, meron siyang sliding uh, miters, uh, miter portion dito. And initially, I thought that was a good idea. But, you know, as the longer that I use it, I realized that dahil dun sa sliding miter so na yun, uh, it wasn't flat enough for me. At least. But it was a noble idea. I guess the Bosch uh, 10XC has a better implementation. So if you need a sliding miter, um, then you probably best with Bosch. But if you have the budget of uh, 19,000 pesos, I think this is a great deal. Completo, uh, meron two less removal ng blade card. And then two less than yung pag uh, akat sa hababa ng riving knife. Um, you have the ability to put dados. Well, after some modifications, yes, yeah, happy kung dun sa inner flange. Um, we have the rack and pinion fence, although like what I said in my review regarding the fence, it's not perfectly square, but you know, if I need to do, um, if I need to do some rip cuts, then I usually use this um, extension that I built. Um, it actually is a perfect square whenever I use this, so it's not a big deal for me. And most of the time, I use this um, auxiliary fence. So, um, actually, ang masarap na gamitin ito, auxiliary fence, kasi hindi ko na kailangan tang, um, gamitin ng tool. Nandun lang siya, magsisnap lang siya. Kaya napadaw pag manipis yung pinuputol ko, katulad ng uh, one-fourth sheet, uh, mas madali kong hawakan yung a uh, piece papunta sa saw dahil hindi mas kit diba? yung counter space ako dito so yun also lahat ng kailangan ko na dito it's in the saw I can bring this anywhere I want and that's exactly what I'm looking for so sama na natin yung price I think this is an excellent deal if you are starting woodworking and you have the budget to buy this. You have uh, twenty thousand pesos. I did say it's. I bought this around nineteen thousand. But if you have that kind of amount, then go for it. Buy this, or you can get the Dewalt as well. But you know, looking back at it, ang ang I think ang advantage ng talaga ng Dewalt versus this one is the uh, the metal um, pinion gear which this has a plastic one, but I don't think it's a problem. Honestly, I don't think it's a problem. Hindi naman siya, hindi mo naman siya mabilis na gagalugalawin, di ba? Pamisan-misan mo lang gagalawin siya. And I'm sure there's spare parts if in case it does get broken. Um, ang ganda pa dito, di ba? Um, madali i-align yung blade. I don't need to hit or adjust screws, I just need to turn the knob and it just moves like a, uh, a rudder in a boat. So, napakadaling gamit. Um, so, yun, I, I really um, am suggesting this table saw if you, are, you have the same need as I am. Although, if you need a bigger um, table, then this is probably not the table for you, table saw for you, and you might need a bigger cabinet saw. But if you are looking for a portable table saw that has built-in legs, that has everything a premium table saw has at this price point, this is an excellent deal. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching my video. and. Watch more for more uh, videos on how I built my zero clearance in Sultro plate um, and maybe the, uh, the table saw said that I'm going to build for this. So thank you and bye.